Now we got the uh, disgraced, <laughs> this disgraced break dancer. <laughs> yeah. Break, break dancer. Um, uh, this woman here, uh, in case anyone is not aware, uh, this woman's name is Rachel Gunn. And uh, she is being roasted, lambasted. <laughs> it's a barn burner on this woman right now because of uh, her uh, less than stellar performance at the Olympics uh, in the breakdancing competition. Um, and point of order real quick for anyone who has not followed this particular story, uh, the Olympic Committee has decided that breakdancing will not be a part of the Olympics in 2028. So I don't know if this was like some kind of a trial thing that they were doing with this to determine whether it was something that they wanted to keep going, but uh, it's not coming back, or at least it won't be back for the next Olympics. So for anybody out there who got a kick out of this and was hoping that we'd have break dancing in the next summer games, uh, um, sorry, but it won't be here. Uh, but this woman from Australia, Rachel Gunn, is being just, you know, completely roasted uh, yeah. because she <laughs> competed in the breakdancing at the Olympics and it just didn't go well. Uh, so this says Olympic breakdance response to backlash from viral performance. The 2024 Olympics were very special for a lot of reasons, including the debut of one of hip hop staples breakdancing as an event. While the decision to omit it from the 2028 games is a sad one. It might make sense to some casual consumers, thanks to one particular B-girl this year. One of Australia's representatives, Rachel Gunn, a.k.a. Ray Gunn, <laughs> lost all three of her one-on-one -on -one contests with a total tally of 54-0. to But more than the loss itself, the online reaction to her performances was so mocking, disgusting, and critical that she spoke to ESPN about it. What I wanted was to come out here and do something new and different and creative, Ray Gunn expressed. That's mm. my strength, my creativity. Mm. I was never going to beat these girls on what they do best, the dynamic and the power moves. So I wanted to move differently, be artistic and creative, because how many chances do you get in a lifetime to do that on an international stage? Compared to other Olympic happenings, this was pretty. this was a pretty controversial moment overall, especially for the hip hop community. I love Rachel, and I think that what has occurred on social media with trolls and keyboard warriors and taking those comments and giving them airtime has been really disappointing. The Australia team's uh, chef de mission, Anna Mears, said of Ray Gunn's performance, which Snoop Dogg witnessed along with everything else at the Games. Ray Gunn is an absolutely loved member of this Olympic team. She has represented the Olympic team, the Olympic spirit, with great enthusiasm, and I absolutely love her courage. I love her character, and I feel very disappointed for her that she has come under the attack that she has. <laughs> Meanwhile, breakdancing continues to define a lot of hip-hop culture, and they still celebrate it as an integral part of the art form and community. Sure, it doesn't have the same relevance and presence it used to have, but rappers like Common still get teased for their b-boy moves every once in a while. It looks like the Olympics won't be the one carrying the torch for the culture on a grand global scale. So let's find the next big break dancing moment. Let Ray Gunn redeem herself and her art and give more shine to the culture that birthed this tradition and the cultures that appreciate and respect it skillfully and tastefully. Um, so here is a... Uh, mm, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So I'm only <laughs> going to play one of these so that for anybody who has not seen this, but I'm pretty sure if you've been following the Olympics on social media, you've probably already seen this. Uh, but for anybody who has not seen this, uh, here's a brief clip of Ray Gunn competing here. So let me close this. And then I'm going to uh, share, share another tab. I'm only going to play one of these. It, it, it'll, it'll, it gives you the right idea. So there's no need to play more than one. Can it blow up? There we there go. go. All right, here we go. This is this Ray Gun right here? This is Ray Gun, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to B Girl Ray Ray Gun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Are you watching? What? <laughs> hey, that was kind of clean, though. That's still hysterical. All right. So that wasn't an actual Olympic footage. That was somebody who was recording it and laughing at it. And that's one of the clips that went viral of uh, Ray Gun there doing her thing. And uh, that's her spin, her take on, on breakdancing. That was her. Holy, man. Holy uh, moly, man. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't very well received well i don't think people are mad at her but she's certainly getting laughed at yeah. and I, a lot of people are coming to her defense because the troll job that is commencing towards her some people think is a bit heavy-handed but what do you make of ray gun's performance and the reaction afterwards i th i think it's i think it's all in good fun and in good spirits uh the trolling that is I haven't seen anything nasty. I mean, of course, if it's you and you're looking at this, of course, you'll think that these are nasty things, but you knew what you was doing when you got up there. And and she even said it herself that she knew she really couldn't compete uh, with them and their their moves and their athleticisms. And so she was going to go out there and give her own take on uh, what breaking actually is. And so she was hoping that her true character would shine through. Uh, unfortunately, the judge didn't think so. All right. So I heard she didn't score anything. Uh, and that's rightfully so, because I got to I got to keep it 100. Now, I got to actually talk to some some actual uh, some actual B boys and B girls about this to see how they really feel about this thing, because as I'm watching this, you only seen like a handful of clips where some of these people were going at it and I was like, hey, this person really know what they're doing. Now, when I imagine, you know, the Olympics having breakdancing, this is what I imagine, you know, some high end stuff. But then I kept seeing too many clips of people uh, crawling on the ground uh, <laughs> like like this, like this young lady was doing. So I didn't know what to really make of this, to be honest. But one way you can make yourself an international sensation <laughs> and honestly get paid for the rest of her life because I wouldn't be surprised if I see an NFL commercial this year with or a Super Bowl commercial with um, our girl Reagan here trying to sell us some car insurance uh, or some Chipotle. So I wouldn't be so I would not be surprised because I know I would hire her uh, and, and have her rolling around on the ground uh for a check and she'll do it so i think this was honestly i think this was like a real lighthearted thing i think the world needed this laugh <laughs> and i appreciate yeah i appreciate uh ray gun for uh actually providing me with some solid ones because i really got a good laugh out of this this was i didn't even need to see memes uh as soon as i saw the footage itself uh i was on the ground but what are your thoughts, man, on on uh, Ray Gun out there uh, tearing it up at the Olympics? Uh, you feel as though the criticism is necessary, or you 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 know you feel like the trolling is all in good fun? I think it's all in good fun too. Um, but I also do think that there is somewhat of an in the, of a grander indication behind it. Uh, so let me ask you real quick: mm -hmm. um, Do you think if Ray if Ray Gun was black? Do you think that uh, she'd be getting trolled as hard as she is if she was black and did just as bad? So, no, like, she, let's say, let's say she's doing, she did just as bad, but she wasn't Australian, right? She was like a black person. No. Do you think the trolling would be as hard? No, it would be harder. I, th I be think, I think, I think, because the black girl, she's gonna get scolded for not representing. Mm -hmm. So, so at that point, uh, people are really gonna tear into her. Uh, so, so you're saying it would be you're saying it would be more serious. Like, yeah, I mean they'll they'll still make fun of her. She'll be a meme now, but mm -hmm. there'll be these people that are getting at her like, why her? You know, we I got somebody around the street that can do stuff, and so it was gonna be that, and it was gonna get at her as a person. Right. And and so this, I think this was this came off as, uh, you know, white girl at the cookout going crazy, and all the black people just jeering her along. Yeah. And this is like, oh, 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 go ahead, girl. And that's what she was doing. So. I agree. See, I don't, I, I think that, I don't think, see, I actually think the opposite. I think that if she were black, 
Mm-hmm. I don't think she'd be getting trolled as hard because it would be perceived as a black person took a form of black art on a global stage at the Olympics. And yeah, it didn't turn out as well, but it's okay. At least we got a chance to showcase what we can do to the world and maybe we can do it in the future and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Like if anybody tried to troll her at that point, there would be a lot of people who were coming to her defense and saying, stop trolling, you know, stop coming for her so hard because this is the first time this event has been here. And this was the first time that we did it. And so we'll be back and all of this other stuff. That's what I think the reaction would have been. Um, but I agree. I think that this is jeering that is taking place because it's just funny to make fun of the non-black person who is trying to, in some way, shape, or form, appropriate a particular aspect of an art form that was largely popularized by black people. So I think that's what makes it, I think it's acceptable trolling because people are going to, we all understand that it's like socially acceptable to make fun of people within that context. So I don't think that this is going to be anything that is looked at seriously or super negatively. It is more so of we're all making fun of the white rapper who can't rap or we're all making fun of the white break dancer who can't really break dance or any one of these things, you know, it's making fun of the white person who's doing the electric slide. It's, it's one of those situations where so long as the appropriation is taking place with a white person trying to do what black people do, if it's a poor job of it, it's okay to, to jeer it. Uh, but you know, if it's the other way around, it's more of a somber moment of reflection. And, like, <laughs> here's, and, and, and like, here's how we can do better in the future. But in terms of this being the first foray into this, uh, we're going to say we were proud of what mm-hmm. happened here, that kind of deal. But because this is a, a for, I, I looked, I honestly looked at this and I was just like, I'm surprised that more people are in hollering appropriation. That was my first thought because to me it's a joke too. And I thought it was funny, mm-hmm. but these days everything has, to, everyone on the internet at least tends to make a larger socio-political statement out of everything. Mm-hmm. So I was in, I was fully anticipating looking at this and, and just getting ready for the people who are commenting about how this is an appropriator. Mm-hmm. And I largely did not see that. So I'm glad that I didn't see that because I do think that this is funny. But I do think that it's funny only because she is, by all intents and purposes, in a roundabout way, engaging in some form of appropriation. Oh, and yeah, I wow. do think and I do think that, that if I do think that if that was a black break dancer, there wouldn't be as much trolling, number one, and it would be more of an in defense of the performance because we want to be able to continue to prop up our exports on the main stage rather than tear them down. And so despite the fact that she didn't do well, we want to continue to you know, champion these things because we want to put our exports on center stage. Mm-hmm. But it just, to me, this kind of exemplified an interesting dichotomy between how close the line is of uh, appropriation versus like in defense of a particular cultural act. But otherwise I do think that what I do think that this is funny uh, and in jest Uh, and hopefully there's a part of me that hopes that she comes back and a part of of me that hopes she doesn't like, (laughs) like for her sake, if she comes back, it could get worse if she doesn't actually get better, but it can also be very entertaining. So the person in me that loves to see the chaos info ensue wants yeah. to see her come back. Yeah. But then the part the part of me that does have compassion for people and doesn't want to see somebody get enthralled and <laughs> just I, I don't want to see her become the centerpiece of a conversation about race and all of this other stuff. Like it's exhausting. So that part of me doesn't want to see her come back. Uh, but if we can just make it, if we can keep it all in fun then yeah, I'd say let her come back and stay on the scene and, and try again. Why not? The world needs more tryhards nowadays, I guess. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And, and yeah. my thing my thing is, is if I was an Australian, this woman would be a, even though she embarrassed the hell out of us, uh, she would be a, a national treasure. Uh, <laughs> because you can't, you can't fake, you can't fake that, that type of not having rhythm. I mean that was just genuine. I can't. I ain't got no moves. It and to have to the, it was so hard to watch. It was great to watch. 
So my, my thing, my thing about this was like, yo, how well, how did she get this far? Did they not have qualifying rounds? They didn't have any heats. No, they didn't have any heats, no matches, no anything. I guess it was just sign up on a dotted line here, apparently. So uh, I don't know what was going on uh, with that. So and the, the part where. So I think the next Olympics, if I read this right, I don't know where I saw that, but I think it said that the next Olympics is going to be in L.A. So uh, which is which is why I think that's why they're just not going to have it there. I don't think they want any uh, gang activity. Showing up to the to the B boy B girl competition. Nah, hey, real talk. So I said, why skip LA? But then they they said they were resume again in thirty two. So I was like, hey, well, why, what the hell is that? So I don't know if they need to, you know, put it in the incubator and get the judging and the stuff right. But I don't know what they're gonna blame this on. But uh, to me, I thought it was fantastic. It was a it was different. You know, the Olympics is starting to become like Ripley's. You know, everything's becoming a goddamn world record. So at this point, they're going to start having, you know, streaming in the Olympics or maybe even gaming. So, um, you know, a little LOLs, a little uh, League of Legends, a little um, uh, whatever else these people out there playing, uh, Call of Duty, some COD. So uh, it, it might be Olympic level gaming coming uh, not too far, uh, just yeah. so they can keep looping people in with these distractions. Yeah. So uh, I feel like B boy B girl stuff is two decades, three decades late. Um, there's not really many of them anymore. Uh, uh, when I was in a uh, school, you know, I was in some hip hop group or whatever, and it was this girl. She was really passionate about it, and I didn't know that it was a whole culture, kind of like skaters. So they got their whole, their own realm, their own lingo, their own way they look at hip hop and all that other stuff. And so if I was a real, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know how the real people feel about this, you know, because it's like, yo, what's that? Even the real ones in Australia, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're pissed. But I think the, the layman, the everyday person that just needed a laugh from these daggone gas prices and, and groceries. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ray Gun, she distracted me for a good 30 minutes uh, with some good laughs and memes I was scrolling down. So that's why I said, you know, the world needed this laugh. So for anybody that's really getting uptight about this, <clears throat> you know, I don't, I don't really see it. And by the way, this lady, like I'm saying, she's going to be rich for life for this now. So yeah. she, she's going to be crying in her Ferrari. So I'm not going to be sitting around here feeling sorry for her because she's going to be cashing checks and doing things just because of this. So yeah. and I'm not mad at it. So yeah. uh, as of now, I'm not tired of it yet. Uh, when I see her in a few commercials, I ain't going to be tired of it. But uh, yeah, I want to see it. I want to see her in a Geico commercial or something. Yeah, I can feel that. Um, yeah, so according to this, um, it says um, um, it's a it's it's a it's apparently up to the whole city. So without reading too much of the jargon, mm -hmm. Los Angeles is where it's going to be in 2028, and they're not going to have it. But that doesn't mean it's gone permanently. It could come back if the whole city in 2032 wants to do it. So you were right about uh, that. So it's not a permanent omission per se. Okay. It depends on whether the whole city wants to accommodate it. But your reasoning behind omitting it is, <laughs> <laughs> that, is very, that is very interesting. Um, didn't wasn't there an old wasn't there a video game character that used to be called Ray Gun? I feel like back in the day there was a video game. Mm -hmm. Where the character was called Raygun, but I could be wrong on that. Somebody fact check me in the comments. <laughs> if anybody, anybody who watches our videos who is an old school gamer, like this goes back into, I'm talking like the PS1, PS2 days. Like okay, I could have okay. sworn there was some kind of a character. I think it was PlayStation, Raygun or Gun, something like that. I don't know. But oh, check me out. Okay, sure. I'm looking into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, shouts out to Raygun, man. Good luck. I want you back, but I don't want you back. Uh, as long as as long as the world continues to look at this as a joke and not treat you too harshly, then I'm all good. I'm all good for you to come on back and continue to fine tune your breaking craft. You know, good luck man. to you. Yeah, for sure, man. Hey, you, 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 I don't know. Hey, I got to consult with the community to see if you if I can give you a pass for the cookout. But I mean, I would I would love to see that happen in uh, in center stage at the cookout. So <laughs> you got my invitation. <laughs> oh boy! Oh man, that's good.